there were two experiences that you've had. One experience was that uh, they were both related to your children, really, where you were told that there were past life interactions between your children and yourself that you then experienced some very severe emotions about. So that's basically an overview of the question. What actually was happening is here's yourself full of different emotions. One of those emotions was guilt. Right? But there's other emotions, right? Here's some spirits. When you go to a far past life regression therapist, there are literally thousands of spirits surrounding that therapist. Thousands. All waiting to tell their story to somebody. Because nobody in the spirit world is listening. And so what they do is they want to connect to somebody who will listen, right? Haven't they got anything better to do? Sorry? In the spirit world, isn't there anything better to do than just hang around people? <laughs> there is lots better to do, but if you're immersed in the emotion, it's very, very hard to do anything other than what the emotion is dictating. Isn't that the case? How do you find it in your own day-to-day -day life? If you're immersed in the emotion, it's very hard to do anything else as well as being immersed in the emotion, isn't it? You don't find someone else attached to them, do you? You often do here on Earth. Honestly, the majority of you at some point have attached to other people just to get an emotion from them. Really? That's where the saying comes from, misery loves company. Exactly. You know, why do, like, you know, I was talking with Mary the other day about sometimes a group of women getting together to actually have a lot of negative comments about their partners or ex-partners, right? What's that about? None of them want to deal with the emotion, they all want to commiserate. Right? You get a lot of guys go down the pub, you know, have a bit of a drink and away they go about whatever is happening in their life. Why? Because, because it's a, a law of attraction event to help expose their emotion. But instead of exposing it, they live in it. Yeah. Professional public speakers take that. Sorry? The professional public speakers take that to an extreme. Oftentimes, yeah, because a lot of people do public speaking to get all these wonderful emotions from the audience. Yeah. So even as a public speaker, you've got to be very careful that you're not sucking your audience dry. How do you feel when you walk out? Do you feel like enlightened or bright? Or do you feel like sucked <laughs> right out? You know, it depends on the emotion coming from people. But let's get back to this question that you asked, because it's important. These spirits had these experiences where that you have related. Some of them where, you know, a mother did kill the child or vice versa, <coughs> did kill her children in one case. Right? So this spirit killed her children. She has a lot of guilt about it. You go to a past life therapist, right? past life regression therapist, with your guilt about being a bad mother. She feels attracted to you and comes through you to talk about what's actually happened to them. Now all of that's fine up until this point really. She's working through the same emotion you're working through. Isn't that great? Like it's a friend working through similar emotion. So far it's great. However, when it gets messy is when you're told that you did that, right, now that starts to get very, very complicated. You can stay in these emotions for a long time. Now, if you had focused on feeling your own emotion, you would have probably dealt with it quite rapidly if you understood what was going on. But what happened was your own guilt was so strong and you couldn't allow yourself to fully experience it and that caused a permanent attraction. attraction. This spirit followed you around for a year and stayed with you all that time. And you felt not only your own guilt, but hers as well. In an effort to get to a point where you both had cleared it. But if you knew that was happening, you probably would have dealt with it all within a week. And this is the problem, is when we then assume it's a past life, we have a tendency then to just fo not focus on the causal emotion and release it. So it wasn't necessarily malicious? No, she wasn't malicious at all. Yeah, she didn't feel malicious. What she was doing was damaging but she didn't feel malicious, right? Yeah. But it only became damaging because the past life <coughs> regression therapist said this was you. Because of the belief. Yeah, yeah. If the belief had been, this spirit's with you, she's got guilt, you've got guilt, law of attraction happening, talk to each other, you might trigger each other emotionally, and, and you know, that could have happened quite easily. Um, where it'd be like, 
It would be like two people feeling guilt here on earth, talking about their own guilt to each other. And you could have dealt with it very, very rapidly. But what happened? It gets all complicated, past life, all this guilt, and now she's permanently connected with you until this guilt's released. And it can be a very, very uncomfortable experience. And it is a very uncomfortable experience for the majority.